or of her name. But before we get there, I think there's something else we've got to talk about real quick. Some movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard that? Um, because um, there was a tournament last year, the 2010 Tetris World Championships. There's a documentary film that covered the events and um, tell the whole story. I heard it's really good. Um, the thing that happened last year's tournament. Not, so I'm not to spoil things. Uh, I'll just say that it's really cool. And here we have in this year the director of that movie, the film, Ecstasy of Order, the Tetris Masters, Adam Cornelius, is here to talk about it. Give it up for Adam. All right, nice. Uh, sorry, I didn't get my costume done in time. I had kind of an Atari Jaguar thing I've been working on. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I just want to start by saying, you know, awesome game so far. And this is a really cool tournament. And thanks to the Tetris Company and thanks to Vince Clemente, who worked his butt off this tournament. Hey, and thanks to the Gamer Girl, for, or Girl Gamer, Broadcasting on the on the internet, so that's great. And uh, yeah, so last year we did a tournament, or there was a tournament similar to this, but it was uh, mostly based around the Nintendo game, and we did make a documentary about the events leading up to that tournament. And I'm very proud of how it turned out. And it all started with an email to Harry Hong, who just played back in March 2009. So in March 2009, I wrote Harry and I said, man, you just maxed out a score on Nintendo Tetris. That's insane. Like, I literally, I follow video game stuff. And I said, that's the craziest thing. I didn't think that was possible. He did it. I immediately wrote him and I said, I want to make a documentary about you. And you're just to honor your accomplishment. And uh, one thing led to another. And I heard about a guy named Jonas Newbow. Yeah! 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 I heard about a guy named Ben Mullen. Another year went by and I heard about a woman named Dana Wilcox. And then my thing just kept building and building. And next thing I knew, I had this complex feature film on my hands with all these amazing players and all these amazing personalities. And then we found out about the Nintendo World Championships back in 1990. And I met a guy named Robin Mihara, who also just advanced. Robin. And he was third place in the Nintendo World Championships back in 1990 when he was, I think, 13 or 14. And so then suddenly we had this whole history of competitive Tetris to cover. And the movie just kept getting more and more interesting. And you know, when you make a movie, it's like you watch it over this two year time span, you're shooting it very, very, very slowly. But luckily, since we did the work, you can watch it in a tidy 90 minute format. And uh, it is premiering this coming Friday at the Austin Film Festival. Woo! Uh, so, uh, It's a great way to share competitive Tetris with the world in a way that will show people how exciting and fun it is. So uh, we're lucky enough to, uh, I think they have the trailer queued up. And once again, thanks to the Tetris Company, thanks to Vince. And there's also a screening at, in San Francisco this coming Sunday. So if anyone wants to know about those screenings, if you happen to live in Bay Area, for instance, uh, you go to ecstasyaborder.com, or even better, like us on Facebook, and you can get the info about those screenings. So yeah, let's check out the trailer. Thanks, guys. And most of all, thanks to the player. I believe that Tetris may well be the first virtual sport. We always wonder why the biggest game in the world didn't have a champion. It's the only video game that can be described as perfect, right? It's how to improve it. Not just a game, it's a history. Yeah. 
He was the greatest Tetris player in the world 20 years ago. He made over a million kids. Well, from what I've heard, I've always got the magic bomb. What happened in the war of the face of I know that already people are doubting. I feel also annoyed that Thor hasn't done anything in the way of proving what he's done. Unless he's like, in the pack of God. He gets 30, it's like these Tetris giants are just throwing pieces at you as hard as they can. Let's do it.